Hi guys, it's Angie. Welcome th and thank you for joining. In this video, we will review the steps you need to take to create an option set using the Advanced Product Options app. So with the app, you are supposed to create option sets and assign them to products from your products list. An option set is a kind of predefined template that contains custom options and can be assigned to multiple products at the same time. If you ever modify a set, all the changes will be applied to the assigned products automatically. So let me show you the process. Okay, here we are in the admin panel and here you need to click green button create option set. Okay, now we need to name a set. Uh, it's up to you to decide on the name, it won't show up anywhere on the front end and it's required for internal usage only. So I will name it a test set and let's proceed. So the process um, is divided into three steps. Uh, these steps are represented by these tabs. So the first uh, step is to create options. Then you may create rules if you require conditional logic. And the final step is to assign our options to products. So in this, in this video, we will review the first step, creating options. So the first step um, you need to take is to click Add New Option button. And you will be offered to select the input type. The app offers 12 different types from check boxes to file upload, so you have quite quite wide choice. Um, let's select color option uh, of a swatch type as an example. So we select a swatch type, name it uh, color. Okay, and here you can also decide whether this option should be required or not. Uh, if you want uh, this option to be required so that a client um, won't be able to proceed to the cart, add a product to the cart without selecting this uh, option, uh, you can select this checkbox. Okay, the enhanced settings related to the option itself are placed here. You can click more settings link and you will see enhanced settings. Here you can add a nickname. Uh, this setting is optional. It's uh, required for internal usage only also, so it's up to you to decide whether you would like to add it or not. Um, it's required uh, in case you have uh, several options with very similar titles and you can add nickname and to distinguish one option from another. Okay, let's move on. Um, next, you will see two checkboxes. The first checkbox check show quantity input box. It allows you to add quantity input fields. Um, they will show up next to option values. So your clients will be able to decide on the quantity of each uh, value. You can select it and let me show you an example. For example, here we have quantity input boxes enabled. So you can select an option and then manage its quantity. Okay, let's move on. Uh, the next uh, setting is show value titles. Uh, this uh, setting is available for, for swatch input type only because by default our swatches um, show up without titles but you can enable this um, <coughs> this checkbox and uh, you will see the option value titles below swatches. Okay, next you can add a description to the option itself. Here I mean description um, of the uh, option, for example, size, and here description of the option itself. Um, you can decide on the type. Uh, uh, the description has, uh, it can be tooltip or text. This uh, setting can, uh, can be managed in the um, settings admin. Uh, so uh, if you select tooltip, um, uh, the description will show up as a question mark and description will show up when you hover over this question mark. Uh, also, you can enable text uh, type. So uh, the description will show up as a plain text next to the um, option title. Okay, now let's move on. Then you can decide on the sort order of your options. So if we create more options uh, and uh, you would like to reorder them, you can add corresponding uh, sorting order values. Uh, the next setting is a CSS classes. So you can assign some CSS class to this option color, then move to the settings admin. And um, here 
you can enable add custom CSS and add some styles, custom styles to that particular class you assigned to option. Okay, and now after we decided on these uh, settings related to the option itself, uh, we need to create values. Uh, so let's create uh, some color, for example, moss, and proceed further. So uh, here you can uh, see several um, se separate tabs. Each tab contains its own settings. Um, let's review them one by one. The first tab is advanced pricing. Uh, here you can enable, um, you can assign prices to option values. To do this, you need um, click enable advanced pricing checkbox. Uh, these uh, fields will become active. Uh, so you can assign a price to option value. We created most color. You can assign a price. For example, I've added $5 and these $5 will be added to the base product price upon selection. Let's say uh, the base product price is $20 and if a customer selects a uh, most color, uh, the total price will become $25. Uh, you can also add compare price if you run some sales. It works uh, the same way as compare price or uh, setting works um, when you create Shopify products. It will be crossed out. Um, also, you can decide on the price type. Uh, I've added $5 if the price type is fixed, but you can also enable percentage. Uh, the um, percentage will be calculated of the base product price. Even if you have more paid options, the percentage uh, will be always calculated of the base product price. It won't uh, include any uh, add-ons added by the app. Okay, uh, let's move on. And uh, the, also here we have a one-time setting. Uh, it um, allows you to decide or whether the option price should be added only once, despite, on the, um, uh, despite of the number of products. Uh, a customer selects. For example, a client uh, selects five products, but if this uh, checkbox is enabled, this price, five dollars, will be added only once. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Uh, it's inventory and shipping. Uh, here you can uh, add stock keeping unit and weight to um, option values. Uh, you can enable enable inventory settings checkbox and after that uh, the stock keeping unit field becomes active. You can um, insert some uh, unit um, <coughs> into the field. As a result, this um, unit will be appended uh, to the stock keeping unit of the base product. Uh, it will be uh, separated by dash and uh, you can decide on the separator in, in the app uh, settings here, separator uh, in created product for stock keeping unit. By default, it's dash. Okay, uh, also you can enable the second checkbox. Um, this um, checkbox will make um, the product a physical product automatically, and you can also decide on the uh, weight of the option value to this uh, will make it possible um, to include uh, weight of the options into the calculation of the shipping charges. Uh, also, you can decide on the, on the measure uh, of the weight. Okay, let's move on. The next step is images and colors. Um, here you can add icons uh, to uh, swatches. Okay, you can add color. For example, you want um, uh, swatches to be uh, color icons. So you can add color hex code, for example, if you know it. Also, uh, you can um, select a color from a palette manually. Uh, also, you can add upload an image uh, to be a swatch icon. You need to click, uh, uh, click add image. Um, you will see this um, block. You need to click choose file and uh, you will be offered to upload a file from your device. So let's uh, upload a picture. So uh, this uh, picture will represent our color swatch on the front end. Uh, also uh, here you can enable replace main image uh, setting. Uh, this will make um, the main image uh, uh, re uh, replaced when you select this uh, option value. Let me show you an example. For example, we s if here if we select red color, uh, the main image gets changed 
by the image of the option value. Uh, also, you can enable enlarge and hover uh, setting. As a, as a result, yeah, here you can see how this works. Okay, let's move on. You can add a description to each option value. Uh, before we edit, we reviewed the setting related to the option itself, to the color. And you can also add a descri description to each option value separately. And you can also decide on the description type for the option values here. You can also select between tooltip or plain text. Okay, and the last setting is uh, sorting order. So if you add more values, for example, we added only one color. If you add more colors, then you can sort them out by adding sorting values and uh, make, them, make the values show up the way you need. So in the next video, we will review the rules creation. Uh, thank you for your attention. Have a great day. Goodbye.